Virgo. All right, so I'm just basically getting ready to tap in and see what the tea is for you. Don't forget, flip your rolls, take what you need, leave what you don't need, use the spirit of discernment, don't force nothing to fit. If it doesn't resonate, let it fly, y'all, for real. Real talk, these are collective readings. This is for entertainment purposes only. If you are triggered, face your mirror and not my comment section. All right, so I love you guys. Most definitely hit that like button, the thanks button. If you're feeling generous, the subscribe button if you're feeling my vibe. Um, if you're watching me from Virgo, the Be More Goddess channel, go over to the Oracle Goddess channel and subscribe there as well. I do collective readings. Um, and different zodiac signs. So I'm working to build my way back up, y'all. So um, school will be out in May. So we have a couple of more months. And the summer is for me. All right. So I'm going to be really pouring into my community. I seen somebody leave a comment saying they wish I would do more readings. And I would love to. If I could do this as my full time, honey, I would be right here content creating. But however, that's not feasible at the moment okay but I, I believe and I trust God is going to make a way right but however God is going to make a way that's all I'm gonna say for you all like the divine the universe however it resonates for you everything's gonna work out for your highest good okay so basically what I'm saying already off the bat five of wands comes out nine of swords okay so it's some type of um clash all right it could be competition it could be um somebody could be envying you um a lack of unity in some kind of way whatever this is that's going on here somebody is troubled okay a lot of anxiety about this conflict now again like i said i don't know if this is you if this is somebody connected to you you're gonna flip your roles you're going you know first thing come to your mind that's your intuition saying boom it's so and so right that's who it is if you got a second guess it it ain't that okay now um let me set my intentions before i get started thank you holy spirit thank you my true guys for showing up and showing out protect us as we go through these portals and close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will thank you for using me as virgo's messenger thank you for helping me to guide and lead virgo on the right path and so it is all right so let's talk about this five of wands what is this five of wands energy my spirit team where is this chaos or this envy coming from? This competition. I just heard somebody is fighting over you. Hold on. The moon comes out. What I just heard, this is a spiritual battle. Yeah, this is a spiritual battle. Some of you may be having some dreams, honey. And I and I um did a reading about this a couple of days or last week, I don't know, when I, I tapped into your dream state. Something is going on where within your subconscious mind, your spirituality, your inner shadows, anxiety, whatever it is, right? It's a lot um that is surfacing there. Okay, so pay attention to your dreams and your intuition at this time. Okay. Um what is this? Why is this fight? Why is this competition or this chaos or whatever this is? What is this? Tell me more. Too many cards must be to me. Judgment and the high priestess reversed. Honey. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, so basically, this isn't that judgment call keep coming through. It's like the trumpets is blowing and the spirit is already like, shh, we on it. We already on it. We have blown the trumpets. Whatever is out of balance is coming back into balance because it's like, it's something happening here. It's like something happening in the spiritual realm and it's something happening in your, uh, um, in 3D, basically. It's a lot of deceit. It's this, it's a lot of, um, negativity or something here okay somebody also like with this high priestess reverse this could be someone who uses their power oh, no. that's how you know it's hot in these spiritual streets okay because my whole day going phone they always got space on it is like nah sis it ain't no space okay and it didn't cut off all right so hopefully i can get some work done on this other cell phone but yes um yeah this high priestess reverse i don't know where it cut off at but this person uses their their um spirituality bone, 
okay they usually do stuff in secrecy um they usually are um yeah they ain't good okay that's all i'm gonna say okay so they're doing some stuff here and judgment is actually being called on this okay so <clears throat> but who is this worried <clears throat> look something messing with my throat chakra come on now why what tell me more about this high priestess reverse why are they doing this see what i can get going it's a queen of swords reverse y'all nine of wands upright queen of swords reverse okay so whoever this person is they're very prideful they're very narrow-minded okay they are very critical they could be very overbearing like they're just a negative influence this is somebody that's a negative influence on people other women um they just they whatever that vibe is here they could be very toxic you know what I'm saying? When they go to speak, you know, I just don't feel good energy coming from this person. And so they're creating this conflict, all right, because it's some adversity that they feel. They feel like you the adversity. Okay, so tell me um, who's, who's, uh, my bad, y'all. Okay, so look, all I just heard was like, this queen of swords reverse is trying to cut you down, Virgo. Wow, what's the issue? What's the issue and who is... Who was troubled by this? Whew. I high priestess comes in the reverse again. It's almost like this this person, this karmic energy, is calling themselves getting their judgment. Yep, because of the King of Wands reverse, and the Temperance card is here. Okay, so what I feel like here is whoever this masculine energy is could have definitely been um very unclear okay about their uh objectives like whatever that may be all right when it comes to this karmic person um they could have been selfish they could have um not really set any goals not committing to something here is how i'm saying it and what tell me about this temperance card Why is this temperance card here? A lot of cards that fell out my spirit team. That's just way too many. Way too many. Let's do it again. Mm, 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 mm. Tell me about this temperance card. The mature woman. So you may be a mature woman, honey. And you bring balance to this masculine energy. Flip the roles. You could be a mature man. If you ain't a woman and you're like, I'm watching this. This is me, right? Hey, make it work, right? But however, it's like you bring balance to this masculine energy, to this King of Wands reverse right now. And they, this King of Wands reverse, give me more about this, is, you know, in that low vibrational energy here with that King of Swords. Yep. High on a reverse in a coffin card. So whatever is happening in that situation is dead, basically. Okay, it's like they don't hold this person or this situation in no high esteem, high honor any longer or something here where they may have at one point. Um, tell me about the five of wands. Yep, thoughts. So this is what I'm seeing. This masculine energy is in their head, basically. Um because of this okay so tell me about the thoughts they could be blaming themselves for something here two of pentacles comes out and the two of cups in the reverse okay yeah because they created this imbalance they've been definitely trying to um harmonize these multiple <laughs> responsibilities that they got going on or relationships um, but all it's doing is it's just bringing more disharmony and it's causing whoever this other energy, um, person is to literally um, come in like this, in this conflict, conflict. They envy you, okay? It's like they're competing here. And this masculine energy is like, shit. <laughs> you know, I'm always thinking about my Virgo. 
my mature, you know, woman, I'm always thinking about this or that person, right? And I feel like here, show me what I need to see. They've been bringing some type of um, balance here, basically, to your situation. Yep. Five of Cups in the reverse. They've been moving away from all of that stuff that has been um, causing them a great deal of pain. They've been healing and they moved into a state of acceptance. Like literally, like it's you that's bringing them the balance. It's helping them to reconcile some differences within themselves. So this is like healing, internal healing is what I'm seeing, is what this connection is bringing, okay? Um, but in the process here, of course, because you know, if it's other people involved, then you end up creating a situation that's not, it's, it, it becomes kind of ugly, right? Um, a competitive environment, especially if you're not up front. So it's not to say that this person wasn't up front, but it's just to say that now, because it's the person that they're connected to, they're, um, they're karmic. Look at this. The masculine has awakened. You could be dealing with a divine masculine. This could be a twin flame union. They have awakened to all of it. They have awakened to the, the conflict they have caused. They have awakened to the fact that you are their person. And yes, they do want to take it to the next level. It was your eyes. It's like, and the way I'm pulling it, it's like, it feels like the masculine is just like, nah, I'm just, and it's just all about Virgo. Like, it's all about my person at this point. There go that card again. This came out yesterday. So because of what's happening, this karmic is really competing. So they may literally sit up there and try to say that they pregnant or, or, um, could be lying and saying that a baby is theirs and it's not. That may not be for all, you know, but for whoever I'm talking to, definitely, because that came out yesterday, that karmic is lying. That ain't his baby. I'm making him block you. It's a lot of childhood issues and trauma, you know, so it's a lot that's going on. We're always arguing. You can tell it's a queen of swords reverse. Okay. It's Come on now, the queen of swords reverse is like, they gonna cut you with that throat, okay? That sword, yeah, it's there. They they go deep, okay? Um, Very, very, very uh toxic situation is how I'm hearing it. And you know if you are the person or not, because if you are this um their person, you guys mirror the energy. It ain't none of that yelling and screaming and arguing and being vindictive and... um cussing each other out fighting there's none of that cheating on each other trying to get back at each other doing spell work on each other it ain't none of that okay um this simply straight like a mirroring energy you mirror back to each other your wounds if you ain't sure you understand and if you sit up here and think like oh that's my person and they had it you need to find out by getting the personal reading okay you know definitely for sure if this is your person just by your spirit, okay, your connection, right, with the person, period. And it's not going to be one that, like I said, has all of that karmic, it, it kind of mimic, but it's not like to that point. I'm talking about where it's bad, okay? This person stealing from you, if this person beating on you, if this person is doing all types of stuff to you that is unacceptable, okay? Mm-mm. Mm -mm. The other the other way around with a twin flame, it kind of gets more emotional than anything um, because it mirrors wounds. It mirrors the hurt that you felt from karmic situations, okay? And trust me, I've been in a karmic situation for over 20-something years. I was married to my karmic, so yeah, I know what it looks like, okay? Very, very, very intoxicating, very addictive, very manipulative, very controlling, very... um. Uh, abusive you understand mentally emotionally physically come on now verbally all of that okay so it's not it's not that so no just no right know the difference get a personal reading they definitely help these collective readings tapping into a by energy but however you know go check out my previous readings if you want to know more about this pregnancy thing um i'm not gonna go into it all i know right now is that this masculine energy is like 
my i'm i'm here like i'm here with virgo okay you know i'm here with virgo beauty masculine i'm here with my person like i that's what i see okay so that seems to be the t right and you may not be knowing what's going on or <laughs> you may be like doo, 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 but you are being spiritually attacked the high priest is reversed by you may even be coming to you again through dreams right or this could be <laughs> on a spiritual level where you are being attacked by um entities okay it's trying to stop your calling trying to stop you from getting your wish fulfillment some of you are serving a great purpose a lot of you are high priestesses a lot of you are healers um mentors gods spiritual teachers using your intuitive gifts and things like that so yeah definitely pay attention to your dreams like i said before in those previous readings if you're dreaming about people chasing you last night let me tell you everybody that i was looking at that kept chasing me in my dreams literally eyes were turning black Okay, so I know for a fact I was under attack in, um, last night. Um, it was just like an ongoing thing and some stuff I can even feel in the presence. You know how you're sleeping and you can feel it and you can hear it going on all around you, but you can't come out of that trance. That's the type of feeling I was in. Like I was literally pulling myself out of it, like speaking to, you know, speaking to the energies or whatever. Like, nah, fuck that. You can't, you know, you can't fuck with me. Like, nah, I'm protected, highly protected. Okay. So know your power and stand in it. This is what we are being prepared for. All right. Especially as light workers for everything that we do, we are here to literally have that spiritual awareness. All right. We are prepared and been trained to fight. We've been going through boot camp for years. Okay. Because you do, we got everything we need right now. And that's what that awareness card speaks about. We have everything we need. We possess those tools to guide and direct us. Okay. So we're learning how to use them. We already know how to use them. And then the universe comes together with us and, and partners with us to be able to spiritually fight. Okay. Seen and unseen. Like I said, trying to steal your blessings. Okay. Your wishes are still coming true. Stay ready. You know what I'm saying? That's how I always be like, I stay in a state of expectancy. Even when I can't see it, I'm still expecting it to come. You know what I'm saying? Even when I know I'm like ugly, I'm still expecting my miracle. All right? So you expect yours. Regardless of what's happening in your situation and who's coming up against you, baby, you are good. Okay? Remember, you don't got to worry about nobody else around you. Again, because you still are on your level up. Stay in alignment. 11-11 on my timer. All right? Stay in alignment. Y'all keep your heart open. The heart guardian comes out. Love and let yourself be loved. Do not allow your heart to close because of what you are seeing that's happening around you. Stay in alignment. Tell me what I need to see. <sighs> Lord, take charge with authority. I feel like whoever is playing the role of the masculine, that's like divine masculine energy on top of that too. Is taking charge with authority, okay? You do the same as well, but, oh, this ain't the right book. My bad. <laughs> but the Lord says, mm -mm. Don't be afraid to take charge or use your voice. Be strong. Sometimes you have to take control in order to be honored. If you feel that your kindness or gifts are being taken for granted, it's time to change that. There is no excuse for bad behavior and ancestors are encouraging you to hold your ground and speak your mind in a fiercely loving way. And I was getting ready to say that. I feel like this masculine does not feel like they're being held in high honor as well. They don't feel like it. It's like that situation, whatever it is, it, it makes them feel like depleted. Like they're not valuable or worth it. Okay. So. And it's a lot of bad behaviors that are taking place around this situation. It says you have the energy and might to overcome drama or energies that aren't working for your growth. And it's time to take charge before you find yourself in a situation you don't want to be in. You are being encouraged to be the boss instead of being boss. This card also brings the energy of ambition and can show you and can show you have the potential to move upwards on any professional level but only if you act with authority and show who you really are 1313 on the timer it's time to take charge and show your authority but i feel like this is what this masculine is going to do okay because they're going to get sick and tired of not being valued okay and going through the drama in the conflict all right um 
yeah but again be patient all right 1333 on the timer peace